Okay, so if you are new to using a camera in Open Buildings Designer, I do want to recommend that you watch the videos on YouTube that cover all the basics of setting up a camera. What I want to do is give you a few tips on editing the camera position and on creating good views for architectural renderings. So first, since I am rendering from my BIM model, I am working in a file which I have set up specifically for rendering so that if I need to turn things on or off or make other changes, I'm not affecting my drawing views. I have simply referenced my working models into this file. I have a station building and a new coffee shop edition, which is going to be the focus of my rendering. One of the first things I like to do is set the view size of the view I plan to render. This then determines the size, or I should say the aspect ratio, of my final rendering. A number of common view sizes are delivered, and I'm going to simply select the HDTV 1280 by 720. Now I will set up a camera in view one. Remember the first prompt is to select the view where you want a camera, then define the camera position. I'm going to start with a normal lens and set the camera and target height to 1700 millimeters, or approximately eye height. Note I have turned off my snaps, and following the prompts and working in my top view, I'm going to select the position for the camera and then the target. A smooth modeling display style will help us view the geometry. Now to adjust the initial camera position, I'm going to use the Define Camera tool. Initially, I might use the camera handles to make overall adjustments to the camera and the target. Remember, changing the reference point in the dialog will change the handles so that the changes are made relative to a stationary camera or to a stationary target. One trick I have for building renderings, especially if you have the camera at eye height, is that it is often helpful to look up. This will reduce the amount of pavement or foreground in the bottom half of the view. Of course, that gives you a three-point perspective where your verticals are now also in perspective. But if you simply change the perspective setting to two-point, the camera will still be looking up, but all the building verticals will be vertical. This may not be a totally realistic camera view, but it can make for a nicer architectural rendering. Now I'm going to start to really fine tune the view. I like that I removed some of the pavement in the foreground, but I would like the buildings to fill more of the view. I'm going to expand the dialog with the More button. Here I can accurately set the camera and target position. For instance, I can set the Z height back to 1700 millimeters. I can also set an increment for movement, both in distance and angle. I'm going to start with 1000 millimeters and 5 degrees. For this to work, I also need to toggle off continuous view updates. I am now able to use the pan and dolly tools at the top of the dialog to basically control the camera movement. Using the pan tool, I can click on the right side of the view to move the camera over 5 degrees. If I click the top of the view, it will look up another 5 degrees. Click at the bottom to look back down. If I switch the reference to the target, then the target is stationary and the camera rotates. The dolly tools are not affected by the reference point. The entire camera and target move up, down, left, right, forward, or backward. Keep in mind though that it moves along the line between the camera and the target, which may not be horizontal. So we may also be modifying the camera height. Now I can always reset the Z height to 1700 if I want to maintain eye height. You may want to reduce the increment if you want smaller movements. For instance, I want to move back just enough to catch all of the coffee shop. So I will change the distance and then dolly back just a bit. 
Okay, and one last tip for adding a little more drama to the architectural rendering is to adjust the lens of the camera. I'm going to change the lens of the camera to extra wide. Now that opens up the view while keeping the camera in the same location. But if I dolly forward now so that I come closer to the coffee shop, it changes the perspective of my view and the station building is now filling more of the frame which is going to make for a more interesting rendering. Okay, and once I have a view that I like and want to render, I want to make sure I create a saved view. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.